When I travelled all those years ago, I saw such things. But you know, for all the alien worlds and all the spectacular sights of the universe, there is nothing quite so beautiful as our own planet, and nothing quite so strange as the things that happen here. And nothing in the whole of time and space is quite the same as helping on a school trip. One coach, two teachers, three helping adults, 36 children, and no toilet. All right, there was a bucket in case of emergency, a different sort of emergency, because Maria's friend Sam gets travel sick. But I don't think I need to record that here for posterity. No. In fact, definitely not. Because this is a case book of the weird and the strange, the extraordinary and the bizarre. I'm in the business of undead rampaging alien warlords, not the school's sick bucket. The coach journey was about an hour, once we'd escaped from the London sprawl, and I'm pleased to say that the bucket wasn't needed. We spent most of the day at St Margaret's House Museum. It's not as stuffy and boring as it sounds, because they reenact life from Victorian times. There's a laundry where the maid shows the children how to do the washing. They laugh at the mangle and get to play with soap bubbles, which probably amuses the younger ones. But by Luke's age, well, the age he seems to be, that's not terribly interesting. Unless you can stuff the soap up someone else's nose, of course. But Mr Bradbury put a stop to that pretty quick. There's a schoolroom, too, and the children get to sit at old desks and get stern looks from a severe woman who's supposed to be a Victorian teacher. That went down a storm, of course. Lots of recitation and even drill which is like army exercises for the children to keep fit. I think Luke quite liked that, though Maria found it dull. And Clyde was slouching, so he had to sit with a pole behind his back to improve his posture. Well, you can imagine. <laughs>